Hi there everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be watching some more Vampire Diaries. We're at season 4 episode 21 and this one is titled She's Come Undone. Is it because she's coming back? She's come undone? I, I don't know but she has to come back at some point and we're in the end of season 4. I have this episode and then two more because this one has 23 episodes. So really excited it probably will be an emotional episode if she's coming back uh, they're gonna try to no i guess they're targeting like her fear but if she comes back every emotion is gonna hit her like a truck so yeah it could be very emotional so we'll see let's just get into it and i'm excited oh she's out she's dreaming Oh, they're in her head? We're not really here, are we? We're in my head. Relax. Oh, cool. I just want to cool. show you all the things you've been missing out on since you took the giant leap over the cuckoo's nest. It's not gonna work, Damon. Well, there are other ways to provoke an emotional response. So if you're upset that you lost the cure and your brothers ditched you, why are you still in Mystic Falls? Some of us don't have the option of leaving. Some of us are broke and failing all of our classes and stuck here. So I wanted to take you for you and get that out of town. I would. Why mm. is keeping a secret rendezvous with Moi not very Bonnie Benedict? Especially when Elena needs her favorite way. That was cool. Do with them? Bonnie Benedict. Right, well. What are we doing? You have an offer that I can't refuse, but by all means. What do you have in mind? You took my ring. I'm devastated. And Bor, can I go back to solitary now? No, no, no. I kind of like you in the hot seat. We can stop this right now. It's your choice. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. You being the one to pull back the curtain. I bet part of you enjoys it. Since, you know, I dumped you and all. Wow. Let me guess. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. <sighs> we have to keep talking. If we don't keep talking, then I won't be able to stop myself from listening in. And I can't stand to hear Elena and pay you. She doing? What the hell is she doing here? She being nice. Oh, she brought food. I'm hungry. I need to feed. I might mention that he was failing classes and needed a study buddy. You're failing? Well, well, why did you ask me to help you study? Well, I didn't exactly ask her. Well, what classes are you failing? I'm not failing. I'm just really, really behind. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get my flashcards and my study guides and some energy bars. It's what? gonna be good. Oh, I love them. You dated that? She likes projects. It's adorable. I love that about her. Who the fuck? Badass bitch right there. You know what else, Blue? Being sired to you. Going every day believing that I was in love with you. And you. So scared that it wasn't real. Well, guess what? It wasn't. So go ahead. Keep trying to get the old me back. Who knows? Maybe Seth and I will give another go. turns it on no problem you kill you feed you do all the awful things that a vampire does and then when you're done you turn it back on she's not done why is she being i guess because she has nothing to come back to she's smart she doesn't not gonna hurt her all right so we get somebody else somebody who really will hurt her who Catherine. 
Think about it. She's the reason Jeremy's dead, right? Oh! So if anybody's gonna provoke her, she has She's no gonna one. love it. Elena was right, wasn't she? Deep down, you long to have your perfect feathers ruffled. Oh! <laughs> How do you know what Elena said to me in that cell? And again, there's so much to be afraid of, isn't there? Just like what I'll do to you if your friend Bonnie doesn't come out of hiding. Oh, no! Where is she? Tell her to come out of the shadows. Tell her that this <laughs> is only the beginning. <gasps> Oh my god. I could compel you good grades and a scholarship. I don't know how to do that. Why not? Do it for me! Everyone needs an advantage in life. For the record. Anyone who leaves you behind is a fool. I wouldn't. I'm here to talk some sense into poor emotionless Elena. Are you out of your mind? You got a better idea, Prom King? Unless you want me to lock you up in there with her. I suggest you shut up. Let the adults handle this. I want him to call him Beefcake again. I really thought Klaus was there to say goodbye. I was so naive. Do you know where Bonnie is? I knew where she was. I wouldn't bother with you. Now get me Bonnie or I'm going to kill someone. Maybe I'll start with your mother. Can help you find Bonnie or I'll kill the person you love the most. Oh my god. Is she gonna hit someone? I don't like this. <laughs> what did you tell Elijah back in Willoughby? That's why you're here. He's up to you. He has done some pretty horrible things to survive. But unlike you, poor, delicate Elena, I don't turn it off. I deal with it. You wouldn't last a week as a vampire without everyone fawning over you. Yeah. I'd love to see you try. We should have supervised her. This Elena's hungry and missing. For once, his life might actually have purpose. What's wrong? I don't know how to tell if it's really you. What if this is another trick? Oh, you can get in my head. Hi, how's it going? She was acting weird. Please. Oh, vampire man. The thing about vampires is that we need to feed. No, it's more than that. You're my friend. You're my oldest friend. Is he You're the girl that I've loved longer than I can remember. Deep down, it probably does mean something. I'm really hungry. <coughs> Carolyn, let me in. Call her. Silas keeps getting in my head, attacking me. He stay there. That's Silas. How? Oh my that god. Not your mother. What's going on? Oh my god. Oh, okay, so it was her. And then he took her I appearance. You and I were on the same side. No. Don't you dare. Stop it. Enough. Turn your emotions back on right now, Elena, or so help me God. I will give you something to be sad about. I will kill him right here in front of you. Damon, she doesn't love anyone? Fine. Prove it. And if I'm wrong, what difference does it make? One less bus boy. Oh, wait. You're bluffing. <laughs> you angry? I just turned your buddy into roadkill? Or are you sad that the guy that everybody loves is just a bag of bones? I guess it was a good idea that he was wearing this.
Feel that weight lifting off your chest. That's joy. Oh. Because your friend isn't dead. That's emotion, Elena. That's humanity. Oh. It was so well played by <laughs> Nina. Find the thing inside of you that makes you want to live, Elena. Let it in. to this Catherine who ruined our lives it all comes down to her Catherine okay step instead of focus on one thing so I did I focused on hate and I hate her so much even if you spend 10 minutes of your life hating her she wins not if I kill her Elena wanting to kill Catherine, I completely understand, and I was actually expecting it when she would uh, turn, well, return to having emotions and her humanity and everything. I did expect her to want to go after Catherine. It's only normal, and she's right. Like Catherine has been, even when you think she's go she's going to help. Like when they mentioned that she should be the one to torture Elena just so that Elena has this sense of like panic that she's actually gonna get hurt. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And I'm sure that Catherine is gonna have a blast. So like win-win, right? And then she does that. Like she lets her go. Like you, the thing is you can't trust her. She's not trustworthy. She will switch her, even now she has a deal with Bonnie, but I'm sure that if something else comes along and someone's like, yeah, I can, I can do it quicker, I can get it faster than Bonnie, and she's gonna be like, oh, screw Bonnie then, you know? I'm also so happy that the way it happened, well, I got fucking scared, but I mean, I love that it was, it wasn't Stefan, it wasn't Damon, It was her friend, Matt, who's the sweetest, one of the sweetest person on this show. And I've always, I've always loved Matt. You know, I've been making jokes that like he's useless, but it's because like they mention it. Even he knows he's like, I can't do shit. So like, let me know if I can do anything. And when we like, he offered that like Elena drinks from him. It was just funny because it's like, well, he's now the human blood bank. That's that's all he can do. And now this uh, season is kind of coming full circle. Like he said, she saved him in the lake. And now he, he basically saved her. She would have never come back from this. Or if she did come back, she would. it would be so much harder for her to just like come to peace with what happened. I was this close to bawling my eyes out. I was holding it in because I was like, no, I have to make be sure because like they killed Jeremy. Like they can't just kill everyone. Like that would have been too much if they killed Matt. It's just because I I appreciate so much that Matt is the 
he's the regular Joe, and I really hope that he stays like that, that he doesn't become supernatural, because we need some normal people. And he's just a loyal friend, and he's Elena's oldest friend, so I'm really happy that he's the one to have, like, triggered that that emotion that's being scared of losing your oldest friend and i think it's it's just amazing the the way the episode was was done yeah that was really good that was season four episode 21 she's come undone and uh yeah i'm gonna watch the rest right now so thank you all for watching and i'll see you for the next one bye bye